Hi everybody, welcome back to Sharon from Vivid Days. It's great pleasure that I share with you one of my latest resin pieces. Uh, but before I do that, I just want to say thank you so much for all your support. Thank you so much for choosing to spend some time with me. I really appreciate that and really value that. So the best way you can thank me, the artist, for sharing my work and all the time and effort that goes into it, which is a pleasure. The best way you can thank me is watch as much of this video as possible. Uh, subscribe, share, comments, interact with me because that's your way of helping my channel grow and it's your way of saying thank you. But I'm digressing because I'm Sharon. <laughs> so the resin that you're about to see, the resin art should I say you're about to see, is from my leftover resin that I used on my Moon River. And sometimes we overcomplicate our art or we think about it and sometimes some of the amazing effects and pieces can come together when you just let your guard down, you just chuck it all on, you let your intuition, the heat, the pigments just create its own magic and all you can do is sit back watch and just help it along the way and I think that's what happened with this one. It's a beautiful piece to look at, it's such a feast of yummy colours very simple colours, the purple and the blue, and a tiny little bit of silver and black. The rest of it is just the amazing colour itself that's created that. So I uh, did this, left it, and thought about embellishing it. I definitely am going to come in and had a very little bit of embellishment towards the end of the video. That's purely the silver, just to balance it and make it pop. But I'm going to be quite restrained and leave it as is, because this is something I'd be very proud to have on my wall. It definitely is, um, draws you in. It really draws you in with all the effects. And I hope you enjoy it. So sit back, relax, watch this short video, and I'll see you on the next one. But until then, remember to create it and just go for it. Have some fun, keep it simple, and don't overthink it. Ciao. I'm currently applying my leftover piece from the Moon resin piece I worked on recently. The pigment you're currently seeing is Resin Art Luster Pigments and the colour that I'm currently applying is Purple Sapphire and let's just take some time to appreciate this yummy, vibrant, silky colour. I really believe that you could just do some single pieces with single colours and do a collage together and you'd have such an impactful piece. Never wanting to waste any of this super colour, I have added it to my silicone mould which I use for my embellishment. So you'll see um, I'm working fairly quickly, it may be a little messy for me but it's because it's speeded up but obviously I'm working to a deadline because I have recently been working on this for the larger piece so the pigments are definitely starting to cure. The Belize Blues is what I've just added then which is again the leftover from the resin art pigments. I have no preset idea of what I want to do. I'm just going to put it all on, not overcomplicate it, put my uh, heat gun on it and see what effects come from that and leave a tiny little bit of um, resin in my cup so that I can embellish it. But sometimes these little ones are just so much fun. You just slap it all on. You have confidence because you just think, I'm working against the time. It doesn't matter if it doesn't work and you let your guard down. And as I said in the intro, that's when you create some of your best introductions. and uh, Not introductions, oh my word, <laughs> your pieces. Uh, what I'm applying now is the Coloured Cottage Pigment. The Coloured Cottage Pigment, this is the Silver Mist. It's such a beautiful colours and it has so much thickness and depth and it really does complement uh, these colours and these pigments. Just filling on all my gaps, not too worried about um, them bleeding in. Just wanted to make sure that they were as covered as possible. And this is where the magic starts to happen. Just applying that heat gun, blowing it all around, trying to get it as fluid as possible so that it can interact. And then just stand back and watch what happens. And making sure you work on your edges. It's very hard for you to see from this angle, but from the top of it, I can start to see the colours that were all merged together break away from each other, come true with their own colours, create these amazing of amazing effects and depth. And this this piece actually, considering there's not a lot of work gone into it on my part, you actually do create some really nice depth and special effect. Then there wasn't even any clear resin left on these. So I think this is the beauty of these pigments. They are so forgiving and they really do fight. 
um, for the colour to be shown. So I'm just going in and adding a little bit of what I feel will help and complement this piece but trying to not overwork it I wanted to really protect some of those natural lacing that's coming through a natural effect and right in the corner on the middle you can see the tiny little bit of that silver mist popping through and oh it was just yummy so it's giving me an idea for a piece that I want to work on and on a bigger scale and what you can do putting my Sharon little signature in there for you all my little swirls and again not over overthinking it and trying not to overwork it uh, I really did wish I'd left a little bit more purple in this piece because uh, like I say it's such a yummy colour but I I'll forgive it because the colours just work so beautiful and the Belize Blue is lightened up by that silver mist that's been added so that's where you can see some deeper and some lighter shades but I'll bring you in soon and you'll get to see uh, some of the effects and some of the fun that I'm having so what do you like to work on with your leftovers? I'd love to hear about that and do you find that when you've let your guard down and you're just working on a small fun piece that you probably do some of your best works or find some effects that you want to work on on a bigger piece. Anyway, I'm Sharon, I'm digressing. This video is just about to end and we're going to go into the review. So I'll see you on the next video and remember, thumbs up, subscribe, share, comments are always welcome. Bye. surprise I'm back I couldn't stay away I did choose to embellish this and the great thing with working with these uh, Peebo mixation and this leaf if you do pop put it on if you don't like it you can just peel it off and you can just wash it off uh, and it's back to its original form uh, and sometimes you don't know until you've put it on and I could see that I wanted to add something to the swirl uh, I knew that I wanted at least three pieces but then as I applied it I started pulling it back uh, I felt it was going to detract from the beauty of the pigments that were underneath and uh, yeah just my advice would be just give it a go sit on it for a few days see how you feel if you don't like it you can peel it off uh, there's nothing permanent with this unless you want it to be and just let your imagination run run free and sometimes you just need that odd pop of embellishment if it's a piece for yourself because you like it or it's going to add so much value to the overall piece or the pieces underneath so i'll let you decide whether you preferred it in its original form for yourself or whether you enjoyed it with the embellishment but hopefully by watching this process it will give you some confidence to just give it a go have fun and yeah experiment i'll see you again bye <laughs>